everyone, today I'm going to be showing you and telling you how I paint watercolor portraits. And the first thing I like to start off with is a clean pencil sketch. And I sometimes I don't like for the pencil lines to show through, so I like to make sure everything is clean because once you go over it with the watercolors, you cannot erase. So you just want to make sure you you erase what you want to erase and make sure everything is where you want it to be before you start painting. Um, after that, I don't usually do this, but I did it with this one. Pick a color palette because it helps sometimes. After that, I like to add my shadows first. And I just pick like a dark color. I like to add purple to my shadow color because I think it looks nice. It also makes the color look really dark and stuff. After that, I add a mid-tone along the outer edge of the shadow, and then I blend everything out towards the inside of, like, I just blend everything out until, like, the whole face is covered with color. And I like to make sure that everything is still wet so that it's easier to blend everything. And hopefully you can see what I'm talking about in the video and it isn't too confusing. Um, I hope. Um, the next thing I like to do is repeat the shadows and mid-tone part if I feel like the picture needs it and it also helps to add depth and like once you're blending everything out um, sometimes your shadows can get lost and it's, sometimes it's just necessary to um, add those shadows back in and if you don't want them to be too harsh just blend them out but you want to be after you do your first layer of color you want to start to be a little more careful with your brush um, because if you um, if you're just like scrubbing at your paper trying to blend things um, you can lift the color and that can sometimes not be too great unless that's what you're planning on doing but we're gonna get to that later folks um, so I also another thing I do like when I'm adding more shadows and mid-tone, the mid-tone colors and stuff. Um, this is the time where I like to add blush. And I treat blush the way, I, I do the same thing basically. So I just like add the blush on like the cheeks and the nose and I just like gently blend it out with some clean water. Um, here's the thing, it's nice to have two containers of water, one to clean your brush and one that contains clean water so that you can add to your paint or to use for blending things directly on the paper. Because generally I use just uh, for the skin like three colors. Use the shadow, the color for shadows, the mid-tone, and the blush. And the lightest color that you would see is like on the face would be the areas where I just blended everything together. Basically, I hope you can see what I'm talking about on the video. I, I hope this is not too confusing because I do not want to confuse my peeps. Um, yeah, after that, I do a light wash of the mid tone or maybe a different color that's still like a skin tone um, because it helps to blend everything together a little bit more and make things look a little bit more cohesive. It softens some areas that maybe don't look as great as they could. It also, like like the blush, sometimes um, it maybe looks a little harsh. Not harsh, but like you can maybe see the outer edges of the blush. And just by adding like a wash of color over everything, it just brings everything together. Um, the light wash of color is really good for darker skins, tones. Um, I've don't really paint a lot of lighter skin people so I haven't really tried it on that so um, I can't speak to that but it works really good on um, darker skin tones especially when like because some watercolors the rounds are a little challenged um, so sometimes it just helps to go over like um, like for this one I wanted her skin to be really warm so the mid tone that I was using was like a really warm brown so I just like added a lot of water to that and just like went over the entire skin area with that color and it just made everything look nicer. After that, if I feel like I need to, I add more shadows and I blend those or don't 
um, if I want the shadow to be a bit more, a bit harsher, a bit harsh, easy to see or something. I don't know. <laughs> um, next, I lift. Um, this is kind of what I was talking about earlier. Like if you are kind of rough with your paintbrush, you can lift the watercolor. Um, this technique is really good when you're doing it on purpose. So I like to do it on the forehead, on the nose, a little bit on the cheeks. It just, um, it adds highlights basically. So instead of leaving an area white or light or something, just like avoiding painting an area, I just paint over everything and then later I lift the color where I want there to be a highlight. And I really like doing that. It's really fun. Um, but um, if I'm not mistaken, with this particular painting, I kind of overdid it on the forehead, but it was okay because I was able to go over that area with a light wash of the mid-tone, and it kind of fixed it, so that's good. Also, this technique, the lifting thing, well, really the whole thing, it's just best to do it on watercolor paper because it takes all of this that you're doing well, because I tried this on some mixed media paper, and the paper didn't really like it, especially when I... Um, went to lift the color, then the paper started doing the weird paper clumpy thing, and it wasn't pleasant. So after I do that, I add highlights with a jelly roll. I like to add highlights on the nose and the eyes and the lips. And with this one, I added one on the cheeks. And after I did that, I realized I didn't want to do that, but it was too late, so I just rolled with it. <laughs> um, anyway, that's how I do watercolor portraits. And, um, like, if you practice a lot, it'll get easier, and you don't have to do what I said do, but if you want to, you most certainly can, but the more you practice, the more you'll figure out what works for you, and you can do things that you like to do. Maybe your approach to watercolor portraits will be completely different than mine. Um, some people have, like, really, they do, like, really rough painting portrait things. But I like mine to be really blended and stuff, so that's just how I do it. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful, and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you so much for watching, folks.